Okay, I'm Ellen. I went to Daniel. I'm a nursing student at Clemson now. Um, yeah, I graduated last year. I'm a freshman this year at Clemson. So yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all all about college and what you need to do to prepare for it and what you're already doing to prepare for it before you even put two and two together. So buckle up, it's time to go. So the next question is the dorms, um, how the dorms look. All the dorms here look the same. So you don't have to worry about dorms looking any different than yours because luckily everything here is uniform. We have a little uh, bunk bed situation here. I'm currently at my desk right now, which there's my roommate's desk, so you can kind of see that. Um, yeah, that's how my desk looks. Sticky notes, books. Um, there is what we call a full press, which holds all of your hanging clothes. And then there is a half press, which holds all of your folded clothes. So you and your roommate each get one of each. So that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, all the all the dorms here are the same. So you don't really have to, you don't really get too much choice in how you decorate compared to like how you would in normal college dorms. So dorms at Duke are a little interesting. First year students actually live on another campus called the East Campus. And that's just for first year students so they get accustomed to like being in college and they're around like all first year students so it's a less stressful like environment for them and the dorms weren't the best i've heard worse though and honestly like the like the community that we built is so much better like i have so many friends that used to live in the same dorm as me as last year and i feel like it was like a really good bonding experience for everyone and then this year we're on like the upper class campus which has like all the classes and i love my dorm here it's close to everything we still have like the community style bathrooms but you get used to it after the first year like i don't really mind it as much and when you're close to everything and you don't have to drive anywhere or walk more than 10 minutes to get to a place it's a very convenient thing like i live two minutes away from a food hall and i live less than five minutes away from all of my classes so i feel like that always is in, like it's better than living off campus or something and then having to drive and find parking and all of that like mess. So dorms at Coastal for freshmen are three different styles. There's one that's an apartment style with four people living there. You just share a bathroom and a kitchen. There's another one where it's more traditional dorming where it's two rooms, two or three people in each room and you share a bathroom that's connected. Um, and then lastly, it's the newer ones where Coastal has a suite style and there's five rooms. There's two people in each bedroom and you just share a bathroom, which is like two stalls, two, two showers, I think, and three sinks. So it's not bad. And then once you move up to sophomore, junior, and senior year, you go to upperclassmen housing, which is apartment style, which is across the road from the school. I don't have a super bunch of knowledge of the dorms at my school because I've only been inside of two of them, um, but I had a really great experience in my dorms. Mine was set up deluxe suite style, which basically means there are two rooms. There's a Jack and Jill style bathroom in between them. There were two sinks and then a separate room for the toilet and a separate room for the like shower. And then we had a main area living room with a kitchenette, it was just counter space, like a, the minusculest amount of counter space, a microwave, a mini fridge, and then we had some cabinets that we could store things in. Um, so the dorms at Clemson are really, really nice. And um, I mean, I put Clemson Student Living up there with, with the best, you know, top five in the nation for sure. I love where I live. I live at Lightsey Bridge and we have an apartment style dorm room and it's just unbelievable me and my roommate uh we absolutely love it but the thing that's important about dorms you know when you're on your own you don't have your mom or dad to you know clean for you or tell you what to do so you just really have to be responsible and making sure that you keep your stuff clean taking your trash out doing the dishes all the little things you have to make sure that you take care of
Okay, so how did you choose your roommate freshman year? So I actually got really lucky with my roommate. Um, she graduated from Daniel, we graduated together. Um, so I knew who was coming in. Some people don't. I knew about four out of the 10 girls I was gonna be living with because I lived in the 10 people suite. Um, but the rest of them were random assignment, which was really cool because they were from all over the place. We had one girl from New Jersey, one girl from California. Um, it was really cool getting to meet those people and random assignment's not always a terrible thing because we can all get along really well and you just learn and get to know a bunch of new people at your school. So I chose my roommate because I knew his girlfriend's brother and he told me whenever, his name's Caleb and whenever Caleb committed to Clemson, my buddy told me about him. And so I just reached out, I just texted him. I said, hey man, congrats on committing to Clemson. You know, I don't have a roommate yet. I don't know if you found one, but I would love to room with you. And he hit me back and he was like, let's do it. So I know that it might not be that easy for everybody, but you really just have to go out of your comfort zone and reach out. You know, sometimes it might be uncomfortable to just text somebody that you've never met and be like, hey, let's live together. But you know, college is about getting out of your comfort zone, meeting new people. And luckily I was blessed because me and my roommate have created a great relationship and a great friendship. And uh, you know, I couldn't have been blessed with a better roommate than what I have. I was really lucky. Um... I was talking to one of my teachers and I was complaining because I didn't know how I was gonna find a roommate. And she was like, oh, my friend's daughter is going to college of Charleston and she's gonna be in the honors college. So I can set up a time for y'all to meet. And I said, okay. And then I met with her and then I loved her. And then, so we decided that we were gonna room together and then she is super social and awesome. And she found the people who became my sweet mates and we, we're lucky and we all clicked together um, and, it and it went really well. But I also know people who went random and had a really good experience, exper experience and I know people who chose people that they knew and didn't have a great experience. So there's not really a foolproof, foolproof way to establish that relationship, but I had a great experience. <laughs> okay, so I, the next question is, how did you choose your roommate? Well, my roommate is my twin brother. Um, and so if any of y'all complain about your roommate next year or whenever you go to college, just think Ellen Ackerman roomed with her twin brother. Not roomed, not roomed, housed. He's te technically my housemate. But anyway, so just keep that in mind. Um, so I chose him because he kind of was my brother, so. All the people that I know who roomed with the people that they knew coming into college. You might want to think about getting a random roommate. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's because your best friends are your best friends because you don't have to spend 24 hours a day with them. Just keep that in mind. Tips with Ella. Okay, so the next one is, do you feel as though you were well prepared? What could you have done to better prepare yourself? So overall, I think that I was pretty prepared for what college was. You know, teachers at Daniel do a great job of preparing you for that. Um, I think the biggest thing that I had to improve on myself was my studying habits. You know, having to actually sit down for hours at a time and study. Um, just because the tests are bigger, they have more material that they cover they're worth more of your grade. Um, so I think overall, I was very prepared for coming to college. So in order to be prepared here, there are kind of like three sides. You kind of need to be like two health ways is for your physical health and your mental health. And then as well as like um, being like mentally prepared academically. Um, physically, I, th I thought I was pretty pretty well prepared. I could have ran a little bit more, could have gotten a little more miles on my legs, but uh, overall I was pretty pretty well off coming here, I believe. Um, mentally prepared, you're gonna go through a lot. Um, there's gonna be there's gonna be times where you're thinking like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I wanna do this. I don't, I don't wanna be here, oh, I wanna quit. And like, you just kinda gotta be mentally tough and gotta like 
just push through that. that. Doesn't mean like don't talk to anybody about any issues or anything. That just means like gotta know, gotta know when you can, when you know your body's at its limit or when your mind's telling you your body's at its limit. Um, academically prepared. Thank God I went to Daniel High School. Um, I thought that I came here and I was very academically prepared. I have an expectation of myself that I have to uphold. And compared to everyone else here, they'll I got I got people in my classes that are like, dude, I got a I got a 70 on this test, and I'm like, I'm like what? No, you you can't be doing that. Um, but yeah, I felt I felt like I was really really well off in order to come here. Um, thankfully, Daniel did prepare me for that. So I guess if you're coming here, just make sure you kind of kind of know what you have to do, kind of know everything that you need to be able to do and um, everything should be fine for you. So looking back, I would say Daniel prepared me pretty well for being at Duke just because there were so many like hard classes that I had to take and so many AP classes and just like the overall environment of Daniel is very similar to what it was like here when I first moved here. So I feel like in that way, I was prepared to like knowing how to study, knowing when to prioritize like certain classes. So that like kind of prepared me for when it like was midterm season here but I would say like I could have prepared myself better by doing more things if that makes sense just because everyone here did so much before coming to Duke and I feel like I could have done more like extracurricular wise but at the same time like I'm here now so I don't really quite think about like doing more stuff in high school it's more about me doing stuff now where I could actually make an impact that I care about but yeah I think that I was pretty well prepared um it's an ap honors kid i was used to working hard one thing that i did start using more of in college than i did in high school was google calendar because you just have so many things going on all of the time that you have to schedule it in a way that makes sense and i don't do well with planners but i can do well with google calendar and then i also have an excel sheet it's a preset it's called assignment tracker and it lets you say what class something's for, the due date, what it is, and then like your completion status. And then it's just super helpful in keeping up with all of your assignments. So yeah, I feel like all of the ways that I was well prepared was just in time management stuff because all the other stuff like socialization and things like that are very go with the flow. Um, and that just came kind of naturally to me. But definitely make use of whatever resources you have and make sure to plan your time so that you get enough sleep and you schedule time to have lunch and enjoy life. <laughs> so, also, so sorry about the bells. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but welcome to the Atlanta College campus. Um, okay, the next question is, do you feel as though you were well prepared? Um, yes, especially academically, Daniel does a lot to prepare you for the rigor of college. Um, I was not prepared to face the social aspect because it's like college is a lot academically and then you get all these social things. I'm not gonna say fail out because you're not gonna fail out, but you'll be overwhelmed and you don't wanna do that. Um, so have a planner, put your social things on the planner. That'll, that will prepare you. So yeah, I would do that, get a planner. Invest I do feel like I was very prepared for college. Um, I think my parents, one, did an incredible job raising me the right way and you know, teaching me how to take care of myself which is super important, but also just from an academic standpoint, I think that the teachers and the faculty and staff at Daniel did an incredible job of pushing me to my max, um, which has led to me, you know, wanting more out of myself all the time in college. And so I think that, you know, just pursuing excellence in everything that you do, you know, academically, athletically, uh, whether you're in the band or anything like that, you know, whatever you do, just push yourself to be great and I think that that is going to help you be prepared for anything in life and just work hard. You know, hard work is going to take you places you didn't know you could go. And whenever you get to college, it's the same thing. Just work hard in everything that you do. So 
So, what do you wish you would have known going into freshman year? Um, what I wish I had known is that it's okay to not know what you want to do. Um, there's academic advisors here to help you pick out a major so that it's not that big of a deal if you walk in and step foot onto campus and have no clue what you want to do for the next four years. That's their job, that's what they're here to do, they're here to help you, and they're always going to be someone that's in your corner to help you figure your life out. So. Going into my freshman year, I think that I wish I just would have known, you know, about the lecturing and what that was going to be like, taking notes. That's something also that I think I would have, wish I could have done better to prepare myself is just know, really know what you want to pick out from each class. You know, it's been, a, it's been an adjustment trying to go into class and you really have to pay attention to everything the professor's saying so that you can do well on the test because the study guides are different than they were when we were in high school where, you know, a lot of times teachers would give you practice questions or tell you exactly what they wanted. You know, the teachers in college, they just tell you the unit that you went over and you just have to figure out what's going to be on the test and you really just have to study hard. So I think that that would have been the most helpful thing is just knowing knowing how to take notes better um, without a without guided notes, just notes on your own, and um, just really being able to pay attention to people talk and pick out the things that are important. Okay, um, going into freshman year, what would I wish I would have known? I definitely have already talked about this a little bit, but. Um, Expect to be a little bit, not lonely, lonely is not a good word for it, just like if you know everyone in high school, which I know that's a lot of y'all because you know the high school is relatively small, be prepared to not know people even if you go around you. Like I'm literally at Clemson, if you can't tell, and I knew no one and it was so hard to go into a classroom and not know a single soul in there. So. Expect that, be ready for that. Prepare to make friends. Like, walk into that class and have just overwhelming energy and just be like, I'm gonna make a friend today. And you'll be fine. You got it. Come on, guys. You got this. So something I wish I would've known coming here is that you're gonna get to know a lot of people really fast. And that's a, that's a good thing, trust me. It's, a, it's good to go ahead and build those connections your freshman year, because these are gonna be the people you're gonna be with for the next four years of your life. Um, that was something I was really stressed over was not being able to like connect or like having trouble, tr I'll be honest, like having trouble making friends and stuff. Like you make friends here so quickly, like a lot faster than you think you would. You think like, oh, it'll take me about like a couple weeks to start making some buddies. Like nah, you're, you're, you're friends with everyone within like three or four days. Like everyone here kinda is like, understands that we're all going through the same stuff so everyone here is like really close together like everyone in my class is like I know a good bit of people it's it's really interconnected and that's something that I really like here so one thing I would have liked to know going into freshman year is that imposter syndrome is so real like I got here and all of a sudden I was hearing like all these people like talk about all the great things they're doing and I got so worried, like, oh, like, I'm not good enough to be here right now. And it just, like, all this anxiety, like, kicked in all at once freshman year. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to be here. What am I doing with my life? And I feel like a lot of people go through that. But remembering that, like, hey, you're meant to be here. You got in for a reason. Don't worry. You'll figure it out. Like, that's, like, a constant reminder that I wish freshmen me remembered just because I would feel myself getting anxiety all the time, like looking at what other people were doing. And it felt like I wasn't good enough, but I feel like knowing, and like going into freshman year, knowing that it's okay to not know what you're doing, I feel like that would have been a good reminder to always have. So, yeah. I don't know if there's anything in particular that I wish that I had known before going into my freshman year. But I'm a roll with the punches type of person and unless I feel like it's super, super high stakes, I don't feel the need to know everything about things before I jump into them. So that's up to your personality and I'm sure that you can learn whatever it is that you want to know if you have the questions by talking to students who already go there or talking to faculty and staff. So don't be stressed about like, trying to know everything because it's life and you'll figure it out as you go along. If you earn 
credits in high school, how did that benefit you? So I earned a couple of credits in high school. I took English 101 and 102. Um, I would say that they have definitely benefited me in lightening the workload. Um, I would definitely suggest earning credits in high school if you haven't already, just because there's stuff that you want to do in college that you sometimes can't because of your classes and if you have those couple extra credits under your belt it definitely can help you do the things that you want to do if you know get a job you don't have to worry about all the school and just falling behind on school just because you have a job or you went out and you went to dinner instead of studying for a test type thing um, I know I wish I would have earned more in high school because they definitely help and they're a lot cheaper. So if you can, take advantage of that. So I came into college with a lot of AP credits and it benefited me a lot because I got out of my classes, but here's the thing. Your advisors are gonna warn you not to use the credit if they're like my advisors. Talk to your professors before you don't use the credit. I talked to my anatomy professor and he was like, I know your advisors aren't tell or telling you to take biology and chemistry here at Clemson, but don't listen to them. I will teach you what you need to know. So I exempted out of biology and chemistry and went straight into anatomy and I'm doing fine. So keep that in mind that you worked for those grades and if you pass the exam and if you can use those exam grades to get out of your classes, get out of them. That's all I have to say. Ellen, the college advisor. Actually, <clears throat> take my advice with a grain of salt. I don't want any hate emails. Um, speaking on like dual credits, dual credits help a lot here. I personally only came in with like two or three. I wasn't the biggest academic in high school. I wish I was. Um, they kind of helped me get some English courses out of the way, helped me get some elective courses out of the way. It was really it was really nice just to come in here and not have to worry about a, certain classes. But a lot of places take those dual and those AP credits. I know a lot more colleges kind of prefer AP over dual sometimes. Um, that's just a shameless plug for AP Lit. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would say make sure if you think you're able, which everyone at Daniel is able to, if you're able to take an AP level course, then you should go out and do it and just be willing to put in the effort to it. So I think I took around 11 or 12 AP classes in high school and they were really beneficial in that, yes, they don't help me graduate, just like graduate early just because Duke doesn't allow you to use those credits as graduation requirements. But what it does is if I have to take intro classes or like just general ed classes, I get to skip those and move on to higher level courses instead in like the same department. So instead of taking Chem to a like Chem 101, I can skip that because of AP credit and go on to a higher level course. And I feel like it's better because you're still learning, but you're just learning more like interesting stuff rather than learning like the basic chemistry or like just any basic stuff that you're learning in high school and you're like, repeating it. So that was sort of beneficial for me. I earned, I think 44 hours of credit from AP classes and my goodness that has been awesome I've been able to skip some gen eds I only have to take two humanities classes um, I'm actually looking at graduating a semester early which I didn't even realize I could do easily but I can because I took so many AP credits in high school so I definitely recommend that is pretty great <laughs> So what is your most important advice for freshmen? So I have two pieces of advice for y'all. Um, one is go to your teacher's office hours and befriend them. Because in the long run, it will help with understanding course material. Office, um, office hours are the biggest thing to go to because that just shows your teacher that you're really trying. Um, I would also say it would help with letters of recommendation or references later on whenever you're trying to get a job or an internship. And then the second piece of advice I would give y'all is to make friends, but pick them wisely. Um, making new friends is part of the college experience, but there's also people out there who aren't looking out for you 
and trying to put you in the best position possible. Um, so picking the right friend can really help make your college experience um, much more fun, but you also have to be very careful in who you pick. Uh, my most important advice for freshmen is throw yourself out there. Like, Sign up for any club you're interested in. Talk to strange, like, random people that you've never met before. Do whatever you want to, as long as you're like meeting people and you're like talking to people and you're putting yourself out there. Just because I feel like that's the easiest way to connect with people in college is to join clubs and like actively like start conversations with people. And yes, I know I'm an introvert. Like I don't start conversations like that, but you just have to in order to like make friends in college, get to know like the right people, the right people if that matters. And just like have something to do just because like when you have clubs, you get to like do other things rather than just studying all the time. So that gives you like a little free time from studying and it gives you that break that you need. And also just these like little things, like if you have an interest in astronomy or whatever, you can take it so much further and like apply it to whatever you're majoring in and you can really like make an impact on what like whatever you want to do with your hobbies which i think is really cool but throw yourself out there do every single like go to every single event that you can like take friends with you you'll make friends there either way it's like a great experience but yeah all right um a few days later different uniform i had to had to take a break but um biggest piece of advice for incoming freshmen is that i would say you just need to go out and meet People. Just go out, start talking to people, ask them their majors, ask them where they're from. Just start getting to know people and getting to know the people that are in your class as soon as possible. Like, these are going to be connections that are super important for you for the rest of like your four years and wherever you are. And it's always good to have buddies that you can lean up on. So I'd say definitely go out and just meet as many people as you can. Like I, That's so important. I, I believe in it. Like, that is it. That is I think my most important advice for freshmen is just breathe. Like, you're gonna be fine. You'll figure it out. You're resourceful. You made it into college. They accepted you like you were chosen. So you're gonna be fine. You've lasted this long. Um, work hard, play hard, sleep hard, take care of yourself. It's really easy to not take care of yourself because nobody's keeping track of you and um, just in the busyness that college is, it's easy to forget to take care of yourself and you can neglect yourself and all of these things. So make sure that you're doing that. But yeah, breathe, I think is best advice. Lastly, what helps you make your final decision of where you're attending? So the beach, obviously, is the best place to be. Um, the people, they really just want to see you succeed and do well in life. And then Coastal is one of the only schools in the nation that has my major. So um, overall, Coastal just felt like the best fit for me. And whenever you're seeking out for colleges, you just have to go with what feels like the best fit for you. Um, the thing that really helped me make my final decision and come to Clemson was, you know, the fact that academics and athletics are top tier at the university. I mean, Clemson is one of the best universities in, in the world when it comes to athletics and academics and being able to come to a place that, you know, a lot of times you have to sacrifice one or the other. You know, maybe if you want to go to a really good academic school, you have to sacrifice playing on as good of a team but at Clemson you're able to get both you're able to get you know a top tier education and be able to play on some of the best sports teams in the nation and I think that Clemson University is a special place you know I think that anybody that comes to Clemson is just going to absolutely love it and have the best college experience and I hope that these these uh questions and answers helped you in making your decision and if anybody has any questions you're more than welcome to reach out to me. You can ask Mr. Evans for my contact info, and I would love to help you and answer any questions that you have about college or where you want to go or what you want to do. Um, so I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day, and I've loved being able to do this. And once again, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. To be completely honest, 
uh, the reason I go to college at Charleston or the reason I chose it is because they gave me the most scholarship money and um, I ended up with a full tuition ride which made my decision for me. I really do love it here though. I've made some really great friends and my program is really good. I'm already, so I wanna do medical research as a career and I got into a research lab at MUSC my, the second semester of my freshman year. So really quick um, and it's just proven to be a really good place for me to be at least right now. So, yeah, I don't have any big revelations for you about picking your college, but you'll do fine, you'll be fine, and if you really have to, you can always transfer, so don't sweat it. So, my final decision was made on, like, a few different things, so the tour played a really big impact on me, like I said earlier, just because seeing the campus, like, in person and seeing, like, the Duke environment made me realize that I did want to be here, but also talking to the students here also played a really big impact on me just because I got to experience like how they lived and I thought it was so fascinating and I got to hear all their cool stories about like all the little Duke traditions that they have and I felt like I really wanted to be a part of that which made me decide to like apply here in the first place and then go here for ED but I think overall it was just like seeing myself and imagining myself being at Duke and it felt like something I really wanted be a part of which is why I kind of like applied in the first place but yeah okay what helped you make your final decision on where you're attending I know this is gonna be shocker but I only applied to one school so my decision was made for me no that's kidding actually my decision logistically made the most sense because one like financially I could you know live with my brother I could come here and get scholarship it just, it was around my family, it was the only school I applied to, so my decision was pretty easy. I didn't have a lot of decision making. Plus, they have a good nursing program, so that's why I came to Clemson, and I love it. Even though I live around here, it's so different. Let me stress that. If you live here and are thinking, oh, I don't want to go to Clemson because I know everything about it, no, you don't. No, you don't. Because my mom literally works here. And there's still so much I didn't know about Clemson. And there's, like, the entire environment's just different when you're a student. 